The full list of countries which will no longer be subject to coronavirus quarantine restrictions is expected to be confirmed by the government this week. It's likely to include Spain, which is the number one destination for UK holidaymakers. But travellers are being warned they'll still have to observe some coronavirus rules, as Damien Grammaticus reports now from the Costa del Sol. On the Costa del Sol, the sardines are sizzling, ready on the barbecue. But there are no people packed into the sunbeds not until travel restrictions go. Rocio Gonzalez is a nurse. Now Spain's COVID-19 cases have declined, she's helping in the family restaurant for the summer, hoping British tourists will be back soon. The Costa del Sol is all about tourism. Everybody knows that. It's what we live off. We want them to come. We're really, really keen. The opening of air corridors will allow those in the UK who really want a holiday to have one and resorts here, which are so dependent on tourism, to salvage something of the summer. But some worry that allowing thousands back in untested could bring the virus back. Those who come will find masks have to be worn. They're compulsory anywhere you can't keep a metre and a half from other people. You can be fined €100 Euros if you don't have one. On arrival, tourists will have to give hotel and contact details. But they won't have to have blood tests to show they're Covid-free. Just take a temperature check at the airport. Professor Eduardo Martinez believes that's not sufficient to protect Spain. In my opinion, the checks at the airport are not good enough. An antibody test to show you are not infected would be better. It could even be done when you book your holiday. Inland, almost empty too, is the Alhambra Palace. It's one of Spain's biggest attractions. Distancing and masks are a must here as well. We found just a trickle of visitors, among them Jose Antonio. The Alhambra, the palace is just for me, is an incredible feeling, but at the same time I'm feeling a little bit sad because this is the consequence of a terrible pandemic. And it's a sadness that won't be lifted until Spain is filled with visitors and life once more. Demi Grammaticus, BBC News in southern Spain.